Before we go any further, it's important for me to give you a little bit of anatomy of a paraglider. Anatomy of a paraglider. Viewed from the flying position, from the paragliding rated carabiners up. Important point, from the paragliding rated carabiners up. You have risers and riser lines from the front leading edge to the back trailing edge in rows. A, B, C, and sometimes D lines, depending on which make and model of wing you're flying, and then the brake lines going up to the very trailing right and left seam of the wing. There may also be a trim tab adjustment on the last set of risers, C or D riser. Again, this may depend on the make and model you are flying. Trims out, back riser longest, lets the wing go forward slightly faster, slightly less stable, and allows the wing to come up into the launch position easier. Trim tabs pulled tight shortens riser, gives better lift, more stability, slightly slows the wing, makes launch of wing more difficult to bring up into the flying position in low winds. You can readjust in either direction once airborne easily. You also may notice speed bar attachment on the front side of the A-lines. You may or may not. This depends on which make and model of wing you're flying again. Some have it, some don't. You will not be using this during the course, nor when you are new to paragliding. This is for more advanced and potentially unstable paragliding. This is because it pulls the front edge down slightly, allowing more speed. There's the front leading edge with intake cells open, and the trailing edge is closed. The outer edges are called wing tips. The material used is zero porosity, which means wind cannot blow through it at all. It's like plastic. The material used is zero porosity ripstop nylon with ram air concept intake cells and ridges with baffle holes to equal out pressure of the wing and to reinflate any ruffling or collapse of the wing you may have while flying. The wing attaches to a harness, sling, or seat via the riser lines carabinered to the harness. You are securely sitting in the harness. The motor attaches to the back of the harness. The cage on the motor helps keep lines out of the propeller during launch and landing. It also helps protect the propeller if you fall over or land hard. You can fly the same unit without a motor altogether off of hills or mountains. In this case, it's called paragliding. That's without the motor. Paramotoring if you're using the motor.